Today, I'm sharing how we organize the cabinets in a small laundry room, plus a little makeover that this room received. This laundry room is located in a hallway that leads from the kitchen to the garage. It used to have two large shelves that span the length of the hallway, which is approximately five and a half feet. The shelves provided decent storage, however, they were open, cluttered, and it was challenging to reach items on the top shelf. It became a throw-all and started to accumulate non-laundry items that belonged elsewhere, like paint, towels, extra cleaning supplies, etc., which then made it a huge eyesore. The original shelves were removed and replaced with two 30 by 30 unfinished cabinets, which were purchased from Home Depot and are linked below. Prior to install, they were sanded, primed, and painted in the color Benjamin Moore Nimbus. The wall was also patched from where the former shelves were and painted Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace to help brighten up a very small space. The trim was also painted Benjamin Moore's Chantilly Lace just in a semi-gloss finish. The cabinets were then mounted to studs in the wall and small filler pieces on either side were cut to size, painted, and affixed as well to fill the gaps. It was a last minute decision to add some fun peel and stick wallpaper to this space. It's easy to reposition while applying and the modern botanical flair in this design matched the cabinet and door paint color perfectly. The electrical was also swapped out from the almond colored switches, outlets, and plates to the white decora style. I have a thing with labeling light switches. Nothing bothers me more than having to switch every light until I locate the correct one. A quick label was printed and added to each of those switches to solve that problem. Back to the cabinets, these cabinets come with one shelf. However, an extra shelf was needed to organize all of the contents that will make up the space. Home Depot unfortunately does not sell these separately, so we ripped down the old five and a half foot shelf to make a new one that would fit in the new cabinets. Once the shelving situation was figured out, shelving liner was cut down. The hinges were then also reattached to each of the cabinet doors. The extra shelf that had been cut was painted the same color as the cabinets, and I wish that the other two shelves had been painted the same color as well. However, they had this glossy finish on them that caused the paint to bubble right up once it was rolled on. Home Depot does sell the same spoon shelf supports that came with the cabinet, so a pack of those in the 5mm size were purchased and used to install that third shelf. The last thing added to spruce up this space were polished chrome contemporary round cabinet knobs, which match the other finishes in this space as well as the kitchen knobs. The laundry room looked a million times better with the new cabinets and fun wallpaper installed. It has a very clean and refreshing look to it that, oddly, makes it exciting to do laundry. This space receives absolutely no natural sunlight. It is a small cave, and these little upgrades have helped lighten it up significantly. Prior to putting everything away, it is always nice to draw out where items are going to go. Since this cabinet is going to store more than laundry detergent and an iron, I drafted everything out on a blank Microsoft Excel sheet. Good old graphing paper will work great as well. It's good to know what household items will fit as well as which organizing products will be needed. Starting with the cabinet on the left, paper towels were the first item to be put away due to their height. They used to be stored under the sink, however, with the addition of a garbage disposal, that space was quickly lost. They are almost exclusively used for the kitchen, which makes storing them here ideal. Next to those paper towels are tissues. These are something that there is always overflow of as well, and we're in need of a single space to store them all. Below that shelf stores all laundry related items. Target currently has some really great containers in the bathroom section. They're frosted, decent size, and have handles which make it easy to move and carry them. They come in a few different sizes and fit perfectly in this cabinet. These were also featured in the five more great organizing products from Target video, which is linked below. The first bin, which is the larger size, corrals all of the extra awkward sized laundry stuff that are not used with the everyday wash. This included the iron, the steamer, the fabric defuzzer, which is awesome by the way, a couple stain sticks and random stain sprays, room sprays, etc. A smaller bathroom bin is being used for the dryer sheets and stain pens. The dryer sheets didn't fit perfectly in this bin, however, they are being used very infrequently and there weren't many on hand. This little container also comes with a little lid, which is nice. The more frequently used items, which include the detergent, scent boosters, and bleach are all kept out of containers, which makes them easier to grab. 
I prefer to remove the labels off of products when I can. It only takes a few extra seconds and really helps simplify the look of the space with less packaging and labels. The top shelf of the other cabinet on the right is being used to store first aid items. These cute first aid tins, which are linked below, both store a handful of miscellaneous healthcare items. Below that shelf are four of these medium-sized bathroom storage bins, which are used to corral miscellaneous items. The first and second one both store hand soaps for the bathrooms and kitchen. These are staple soaps for each season and are restocked if and when available. It is currently apple cider soap season, which is very exciting. Currently in stock is apple cider for the fall, Iowa pine for the winter, rainwater for the spring, and plum berry for the summer. The third bin stores all of the microfiber cleaning cloths. These are rolled in a video tutorial as to five different ways to roll and fold washcloths is linked below. It's just a nice way to store them. The three different colors are used to clean different items in the house and prevent cross-contamination when cleaning rooms like the bathroom. And lastly, the fourth bin is where water filters for the fridge are kept. I love how all of these bins look lined up on the shelf, which is always very satisfying. These IKEA storage bins fit perfectly next to each other on this bottom shelf. The one on the right is storing candles. Hopefully this is enough space. These might be moved down the road there are other candle related items like wallflowers and wax melts, which should also be stored close by. However, for now, the candles will just stay here. The white container on the left is going to be a new spot to throw all dirty microfiber cleaning cloths so that they can all be washed in the same cycle. Last but not least is the most important part, the icing on top of the cake, labels. I couldn't wait to get nice, clean vinyl labels on these frosted bins. I like to use painter's tape to line my labels up and prevent them from being applied crooked. On the bigger bins, I will use a tape measure to ensure they are centered. Cutting and weeding these labels is a labor of love, and I do not want to have to redo any of them because they were inadvertently applied wonky. Due to the texture of these bathroom bins, the vinyl had a difficult time sticking. In hindsight, they should have been wiped down with an alcohol wipe first. What a huge night and day difference these labels made. This space is 10 times more functional than it was before and everything now has a designated spot, which hopefully means less clutter. It makes it so nice to do a load of laundry now. I would love to know what products you like to use to organize your laundry room.